Hiya, so I'm on this today, uh, Roland V-Synth, um, it's a bit of an unusual choice, not such a well-known synth as some of the others I've been showing, but I've had quite a few people say about the sort of elitist nature of some of these synths, you know, they just get crazy expensive, and I totally get that. So I thought I'd show something that I really like to use, that you can actually pick up pretty cheap on eBay. Um, it's a digital synth, I used to use it uh, as part of my Jamiroquai touring rig, uh, like quite a long time ago now. And since then, it's it's lived in the studio, but it just gets used so often. Um, and I think it's because of its digital nature. You know, I've got all these analog synths. But sometimes you just want something, you know, that's going to cut through the juice a little bit. And this is great for that. It's very kind of grainy, digital sounding. You know, it's got a very 12-bit kind of sound, I'd say. And uh, the reverb on it is really grainy as well. It's just got loads of character. Um, the format is like two oscillators and a filter, you know, as an emulation of an analog synth. But it's also got this thing where you can sample into it. It's got tiny memories, like 12 and a half seconds of memory or something. So you just get a little one second blip of something and then you can loop it. And it's got this very phrase sampling so that one note will play at the same speed across the whole keyboard. So it means even just one sample will kind of still sound good all across the keyboard. And it does something, it encodes it in a weird way. So it, it kind of sounds strange, but in my opinion, in a really good way. So you can get some very original sounds out of it that are very different from what you could get from an analog board. Um, and that's, that's one of the main things I really like it for. You know, I just drench it in reverb, get one of these weird samples, and suddenly it's like, oh, what's that? Uh, I also find it, it's quite a funky kind of instrument. I don't know why it's just got a really good attack on it, and it's, yeah, it's a punchy thing. I really love it, and I think it's a bit undervalued and underloved. Um, I bought the uh, the Elisis Andromeda out as well, just to keep it company. It doesn't get too lonely and stuff. So, yeah, let's have a little listen and see what you think.